I've just uploaded a video where I've got the two hoverboard motors in and I've used this scrap metal and the bracket off the old hoverboard and some other stuff to secure that. So now what I've thought is I'm going to take all this off and I'm actually going to try putting the three kilowatt bike on an arm so that the bike contacts with the exact bit here instead of there being a, hover, a hoverboard instead of there being a hoverboard motor here I'm going to make another arm assembly to fit the three kilowatt motor. I believe this will drive the three kilowatt motor perfectly uh, because the tire tread just fits inside the central bit of the wheel on the motor. This bit here. The rubber's got to go perfectly in there. Anyway, that's the mission. So I've just got to start by removing a couple of bits. So you can see this is where the main bit is held on just with a bolt that goes through uh, the handlebars just sit in here. Looks like it belongs on an electric vehicle, but anyway, that's the arm. So I'm going to keep that as it is in one piece. I don't need to do anything to it. I may have to replace this bolt with a longer one. So that's the primary motor, as we'll call it. We don't want to do anything with that because it's just going to be going back on shortly anyway. Do you want to see how that feels? I need to undo it because it's too far over that way. We've got a spacer here. I'm just going to get rid of that, which means taking that off, obviously, which is a pain. I'm going to try an M14 nut as a spacer, which should be about right. That's better. Oh, that's going to be spot on. Yeah, that feels very good. Sweet. Right, that was the easy bit. Now the hard bit is cutting out two lengths of the frame material. I'm going to give this a name. Uh, trunking or something like that. Steel trunking, we'll call it. We shall cut two bits of steel trunking. And we'll... We will try and position the bike motor like that. That's what we've got to try and do. So now I have to find two donor pieces, which don't actually need to be that long, I don't think. I don't really want to bust these up because they're, they can be used for that. I've just found a bit which I think is perfect, which has 10 holes in it. So there is about halfway. Mm, it's going to be close. It's going to be close, but I'm going to go for it. So I'm just going to get the grinder and cut that straight in half. We've got five full holes on each side, so cheers. In theory, that just might work. Right, let's try it. So yes, my friends, I think that might be a winner. Uh, firstly, I need to find these bolts to this. So this bit needs cutting off here and the same up here to mean that you can get access to this bolt and that bolt when it ends up going on here. It's not quite geometrically correct, but it does seem to work pretty well. And before we sign off, I'll get this one connected because uh, that's in fairly solid. You can see with the bolts there, that'll be the, the final touch. Worst comes to worst, maybe a bolt going all the way through uh, the, this hole here to this side to pull it in a bit. But first impressions, that looks pretty good. So the electric bike hub motor is connected 
to the rectifier and interestingly I'm not sure how many turn for every one turn of the pedals we get eight turns of the of this which should roughly translate to four turns of this so we're set up for 12 volt and I think we'll hit that okay the, the hoverboard motor is not connected but is acting as a rubberizer Sweet. so I expect it to hit the 12.9 volts fairly easily that's quite hard to pedal So I think that's a very interesting idea and I'll keep you posted and I've done some more finalization to it getting the motor set in perfectly straight etc. Cheers.